follow the Baron. New quest, Family Matters. So this quest, Family Matters. The Baron turned out to be a tough negotiator who knew the full value of the information he possessed. He agreed to tell Geralt about Ciri on one condition. Geralt had to find his wife and daughter first. The women had mysteriously disappeared a short time before. Though the Baron had moved heaven and earth to find them, all his efforts had proved fruitless. Okay, well this is also uh, level 6. I think we can handle this, even though we're only about a third of the way through level 5. I think we'll be fine. Besides, we're here. Character entry added. The Bloody Baron. Tamara Stringer. Anna Stringer. New Quest Series Room. Okay. What else are you going to throw at me here? So, let's take a look. Uh, characters. Anna Stringer. Geralt did not meet Anna Stringer, the Bloody Baron's wife, when he visited Crow's Perch. Sometime before his arrival, this woman had disappeared in unexplained circumstances along with her daughter, Tamara. Geralt did, however, receive a detailed description of the missing woman. Anna was a comely 40-something woman with green eyes and hair dark as raven wings, which she kept tied in a tight bun behind her head. Tamara Stringer. I like how they're portrait is blacked out there. The Baron's daughter, Tamara, had disappeared with her mother sometime before Geralt arrived at Crow's Perch. The Baron described her as a charming young maid of 19 summers and the apple of his eye. No wonder, then, that the Lord of Crow's Perch was desperate to find her. The Bloody Baron. During his first encounter with Baron Philip Strenger, Geralt found the man's many contradictions puzzling. This former Temerian soldier was clearly an opportunist who, after his army's resounding defeat, served, dealt, and negotiated with the occupying empire of Nilfgaard. The local peasantry anointed him the Bloody Baron, a clear indication that he did not handle his vassals with kid gloves. On the other hand, he proved a, su a surprisingly gracious host to an unexpected guest who was also a stranger and a hired monster slayer. His treatment of children and young women, towards whom he demonstrated a wholly sincere, near fatherly concern, likewise contradicted his bandit-like appearance and terrifying moniker. Ciri had learned this for herself, finding care and shelter under his roof. In exchange for information about Cirilla, the Baron asked Geralt to find his wife, Anna, and their daughter, Tamara. Both had disappeared without a trace some time ago, and Philip was slowly losing hope of ever seeing them again. Under these circumstances... A Witcher was a gift from the gods. All right. Is there something new about Geralt in here? Um, I don't know if I've read this or not. Many cannot fathom the friendship Geralt of Rivia and I, Dandelion, have shared all these years. When we first began breaking bread together, Spiteful Tongue said he'd, be he'd be better off cutting my throat and dumping my body in a hollow tree before I provoked someone else into doing the same to us both. Those individuals spoke out of pure jealousy, for Geralt was my dearest friend, a fact which he gave ample evidence of on numerous occasions. I could say a great deal about that world-famous monster hunter, the man known in elder speech as Gwynblade, or in our younger yet no less noble tongue as the White Wolf. For Geralt of Rivia is a truly exceptional individual, a brief encounter might tempt one to label him a mere swinger of swords, a simple monster catcher, a rough-and-tumble practitioner of a dirty trade. But peer closer and you will soon discover he is a man of unplumbed depths, unique views, and vast world-spanning experience. On the surface, he is introverted, tight-lipped, one might even say gruff, but underneath lies an overflowing sea of goodwill, good humor, and an honest readiness to help his friends be it with a bit of sound advice or the masterful application of his blade. Setting aside cumbersome, false modesty, I can say that I know his story better than any man alive. I was with him through hard times and good, helping with wise advice, warm words, and razor wit. As a result, I am a vital part of his story, both in its earlier and present portions. It is thus my duty to continue my chronicle and, for the benefit of future generations, put in writing the next chapter of his deeds and exploits. Our good buddy, Dandelion. 
Um, well, surprisingly, the Baron has nothing to loot in here. So uh, let's get with the following of the Baron. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other <laughs> side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Our bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. I'll For try. In turn, I want everything to be as they left it. Okay. Um, so... There's two rooms here. I'm surprised he's not coming in here with us. Um, <laughs> alright. We're not gonna loot. We're not gonna do it. Nope. Not gonna loot. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Hmm. What could that mean? Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. hmm. That painting? Right size. This painting? This painting? The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Hmm. Huh. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. So, you may wonder why I'm not going to loot. Uh, just simply because he asked me to leave everything the way it was. That's that's it. That's the reason. That's why I'm not going to loot. Hmm. It gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. So yeah, that's what it's looking like. Somebody maybe threw the candlestick or used it to try to hit somebody right against this wall. And it broke through the wall and the back of this wardrobe and then a piece of it broke off. Let's see what else we could find. Oh, something. Ooh, some scratch marks. Look at this. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Hmm. Yeah, something... Uh, Something happened in here. What else? Okay. Over here. What's this? Blood? What is this? Huh. Rest of the candlestick. Oh, wine. wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah. Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Hmm. So we're supposed to follow the, um, whoa, oh my, it's, uh, oh, how neat. Oh, that's like a 3D view of what happened to the wine. Wow, that's quite a skill you've got there, Geralt, my goodness. Wow, pretty cool, man. Um, well, it went out here, and it went into this room. Oh no, it went downstairs. And there's something with that floorboard there. What's up here? Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else though. <laughs> the Baron must be looking at me like, what the hell is he doing? A talisman. Mm -hmm. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Hmm. Okay. Let's look at our inventory. Is the talisman in there? Talisman magic item. It just says item need to complete a quest. 
Okay, we can't get any more information from it there. So it says we're supposed to talk to the Baron about what we found, but aren't we supposed to look in the other room as well? I want to. Or do we need to talk to him first before we come in here? Nope, there's something in here to look at. Right here. Hmm. Damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. Hmm. Okay. Thought I saw something right at the edge of my screen. Nothing else? Okay. Well. Nothing else? Hmm. Hmm. Damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. Okay. Is that all we're going to get out of this room? It's kind of looking like it. So I think, for some reason I think this is the mother's room. And the other room was the daughter's room. Am I right about that? I could be wrong. I mean, because after all, it was this room that had the picture of the Baron and um, his wife in it. That doesn't really mean anything. I'm trying to see if I could see what would indicate whose room this is, some kind of hint. But um, I'm not really seeing it. I'm not real sure which room is which. Maybe when we talk to the Baron, we'll say, I found something in your daughter's room, or I found something in your room. Let's go see what, what we say to him. I wonder if this guy has anything to say. Nope, he's just gonna stand there and hum. Alright, Baron. Don't poking around. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads must be. Lushes one and all. Give your men air Oh damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. What does it matter? Stent your wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Mm. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you balmy? I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. Hmm. This is Triss. No offense, but uh... Not great with your hands, are you? <laughs> Why don't you take some wooden rags, see what image of a grown woman you can come up with? <laughs> Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. Uh I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Hmm. I mean, if he was so drunk, is it possible that he was the one who maybe fought his wife and he just doesn't remember it? I mean, that would cause her to, le to leave in the night and take her daughter with her, I would imagine. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. 
Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Well, I guess I'm off to see the Peller, since we've already s talked to him about these two other things. I want to have a chat with this Peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. <laughs> Not really Jeez. interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. the heck is a peller? I'm not familiar with that word. It's 1.33 a.m. now. I wonder if I could... Well, yeah, I guess I could rest here. Why go out in the night? Let's take a look at our quests. That only matters. Um, Alright, well, this has not been updated. Or was that a new quest that opened up there? Uh... Well, it doesn't look like it. I guess this is just... Yeah, it's part of the same quest. Find the Peller's Hut. Alright. Hmm. Locked. So what was up with this talisman being underneath this floorboard here? It's like she was afraid of something. She was trying to ward something off. What's up? <laughs> okay. There's a sergeant over there. Ooh, there's another clue to check out. Um, see on my mini-map? I don't know how to get to it. I don't know if it's below me or... Huh, how do I get there? Interesting. What happens if I walk upstairs? Does it show it as being... Yeah, okay, see see now the little red arrow pointing down is underneath of it? And then if I go down these stairs, will it show as being above me? No, I think it maybe is on this level. Alright, well, well, we'll make it down there. So there's another, another thing to search there. I just want to... I mean, just explore the whole place. I'm sure he won't mind if we just go walking around. Oh, there he is right there. So, this is where we initially met with him. Ooh, there's a piece of paper on the table. Let's read it. Loot? I don't want to loot it, I just want to read it. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Uh, let's play Gwent. <laughs> that seems so silly. Hey, we'll find your wife and daughter later. Let's play some Gwent. Now let's ask him some questions. Heard anything about there being witches in Velen? I pay no heed to peasant babbling. Common folk say witches, wizardry, devils, and who knows what the fuck else, every which way they turn. How do you wind up here? Just curious. It's no secret. I was a Temerian soldier. My unit smashed at the war's start. Soon after, we lost hope of regrouping, driving the foe back. Those who remained wandered north. Others, deserters or merely broken men, joined us. We were a snowball rolling down a slope. By the time we reached Crow's Perch, I commanded a sizable force. Just march into the fortress, make yourselves at home? With Nilfgaard advancing, the local lord had fled and abandoned the perch. Once this war's over and Nilfgaard's victorious, the Black Ones will grant me a title. All talk of a self-proclaimed baron will cease. Okay. Can't help wondering why you made a deal with the Nilf Guardians. What could I do? Cast myself at them and die a hero? Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Rather live as a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Tamaria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? 
Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. Okay. So long. So long. I want to read this piece of paper. Nilfgaardian demands. Okay, he doesn't seem to care that we picked that up. Let's read about it. Nilfgaardian demands. Philip Stringer, your supply problems do not interest us. The pact we signed was clear, and the Empire of Nilfgaard demands you fulfill its terms. If you do not, our mutual obligations will be rendered null and void, and your privileges will be revoked. Sincerely, Havartvar Mohon, Field Marshal, Army Group, Center Command. Hmm. A little trouble with the Nilfgaardians. I didn't notice that piece of paper before. I could have overlooked it. So, we need to find this Peller's Hut. And that is up around here. So we will do that next time, as it is break time for me. As always, I thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it if you did. Won't you consider leaving a like, or feel free to leave a comment if you wish. If you're not a subscriber, won't you consider subscribing? Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you again in the next episode.